I wanted to show off my Harbor Freight 2010 shop press. Um, not that that's anything to scream about. I do have an air over hydraulic ram on it from a previous press break. Um, it was too much for that press break that I had and it destroyed it. So I'm using it for this one now. And here's the little break that I made. It's, I can't remember the width, 22 and a half inches. Just, I just made it as big as I could for that area. Um, the bottom plate right down here is 3 quarter inches thick by 8 inches wide. It spans from end to end on the supports here. Um, sitting on top of that, I have 1 inch by 1 inch by quarter inch angle iron. Just set in a pattern, V pattern, some welds on the outside. Um, right above it, I have, this is a piece of 1 inch by 4 inch by whatever I needed to make it, 19 and a half inches wide, I think, with another piece of 1 inch by 1 inch by quarter inch angle iron on the bottom. Um, that's basically my brake. Uh, on my previous brake, it always seemed to hold up just fine. It was never a problem. I can always cut those welds and put a new uh, piece of angle on iron on there if I had to. Um, for this, for my um, guides, I actually found a piece of octagonal. Uh, let me show you. Found a piece of octagonal bar stock like this. And it fit in one inch uh, 095 square tubing. And it was, it only had a few touch points and it uh, was a very tight fit. It worked really well until I welded everything up, of course, and then everything moves just slightly. Once I welded these on, um, they'd moved a little bit. So I had to, if you look real carefully, you can look right down in between there. I had to grind some of the corners down just a little bit. You can see it on that one. And now it moves up and down um, freely. I did put a little cup down here to receive this. And inside of that cup, because I have a short stroke on the ram there, it uh, has actually about a one inch piece of steel in there to uh, make up the difference. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bend something. It's, it's only a one and a half inch by quarter inch bar stock. I know that's not that impressive, but um, let's see what we can do. And sorry for the camera moving here for a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, just line it up. Here we go. Just release this. I love having those springs there to pick this thing back up because it's heavy. And it does pretty well. I like it. And I shouldn't destroy this one like I did my previous one. Let's go around one more time. Oh, one feature I added, this thing is heavy enough, I actually put a handle here and then on the opposing corner, I put my another handle just so I could move it around and um, since I've done that, life is a lot better.